Yo, guys, I'm trying to learn this. That's why I have this. I, ugh. You gotta have the right amount of speed. The planet Earth has like the perfect amount of speed to be stable, which is really cool. Science class with Girl in Red. Speaking of science, Look at this shit. I bought this specifically for my song serotonin so that I could build a, ser a serotonin molecule. Uh, this is a metronome from 1920-ish and it was my great grandma's. It doesn't really work. This is really fucking dope. This is a cello and it's really fucking dusty because I've touched it like twice. The only thing I've done to this cello is drop my bed on it. I want to be slapping that bass and I want to be like, yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Look at all these books. I'm getting into like some weird shit lately. Concrete Oslo, I'm obsessed with concrete. This one I, I'm really proud of because, oh, it's really dusty. It, no, that's a spider web, fuck. This is a Spotify award and it's really heavy. Wait, we gotta show them the fingerboard ramps. Growing up in Horten was like boring and quiet. And I think like for a long time, I was like, Horten has nothing to do with who I am as a person. Nothing, Horten has nothing to do with how I turned out, whatever. Like I really resented Horten for like for so long. But then I was like, holy shit, okay, wait. Like Horten is literally like the reason why I am who I am. Like, I don't think I would, you know, make music if, it, if I wasn't bored and like incredibly lonely. <laughs> So I think like in some ways, like I feel like Horton has influenced my music like entirely, like just me making music at all, really. My girl, my girl, my girl. Yo, look, yeah, I found that, that is so cool. <laughs> well, that was before you were really afraid of flying. Cause I didn't know I could die, probably. Probably not. There's always been noise around Marie, always some sort of sound. And she, she sang a lot. And I remember telling her when she was little that uh, when you get older, you should find a band so you could be the lead singer because you have a really good voice. Nah, <laughs> I love that picture of you. That is such a good I miss not having boobs. When I was this age, I remember I cried because my babysitter had big boobs and I was like, I don't want to be you. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to have those boobs. I was definitely gay. No one knew. Well, you probably knew. Marie was always kind of a a tomboy. She didn't want to wear pink. She went right into the boys' department of H&M, picked out t-shirts with Spider-Man and... The Simpsons. The Simpsons, yeah. I got the hats for Bart Simpson. I mean, that you pulled off the hat now. Dude, my posture was so good. Somebody probably told you to stand up straight. Probably. I was really cute. You were. Not anymore. Yeah, you are. OK, a little bit. <laughs> Our dynamic is like a very energetic friend group. <laughs> I literally tell you everything. I don't feel like you're my mom. Like, I love you and I know that you're my mom, but like, I've been talking about lighting doobies this entire day <laughs> and smoking weed. If I spent 22 years of my life creating a person and I ended up having a bad relationship to that person, it's like, that's the worst friendship deal ever. I still feel mom responsibilities for, yeah. for both girls, but Tina and Marie are my preferred company. You made your own best friends. I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Introvert, socially awkward, make your own friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, we're on some philosophical shit right now. This is like where I recorded my first stuff in this room. I wrote, I want to be your girlfriend in here. I wrote, we fell in love in October in here. Ever since I started making music, I've wanted people to hear it. Like I put out my first songs in 2015 and that was like Norwegian music. This is a cassette with the first t like cover of the single I released. This is my diary. And this is me and my boyfriend in first grade kissing. No one knew that we were dating for like five years and we kissed like three times. So that was really, that was really hot. I 
I met Isaac at a concert in 2018. I was on stage and I was really stressed out. And then he came up on the side of me and he was like, hey, do you want me to film you? And I was like, yeah, sure. I was just like so stressed, so I kind of blew him off. Under stress, I, I'm not always the funnest person to be around. Anyways, I think like the first thing we did, we, we made I Need To Be Alone music video. We just fell in love. <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, I think I did fall like friendly in love with you because like, you just have a very beautiful smile and you just have a beautiful personality. And I feel like you're like my creative soulmate. Isaac is a wall that I just throw stuff at and then, you know, he reacts to it. You have a tendency to be like, you are at double speed when I go in slow motion. So we pass it good together. Yeah, Isaac slows me down a little bit. <laughs> he's seen some weird parts, like, he, not parts, but <laughs> he's seen some weird shit from me, like, you know, mental breakdowns or panic attacks, allergy attacks. When I ate that cookie in Copenhagen and I fucking, you had to like get me to the hospital because like I was like swelling. <laughs> um, For andre gang. Music is definitely becoming work, you know? Like, it started out as a hobby and then it's, you know, turned into a passion. And now it's, you know, it's becoming work. But then, like, I go on stage and I see, like, all these people so excited to see me. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm so lucky to be alive. I'm so lucky to be here to play this show. So it's just like a lot of ups and downs. Kind of like this boat right now. It's really wavy outside. I was definitely really exhausted from touring. I also felt a lot of joy from touring, and now I just really miss it. Life feels really slow when I'm not touring. Summer depression comes every year. I just want to disappear. Depression. Summer I feel more ready now to go on tour because I was able to get this break and sort of reflect on like, okay, what works for me, what doesn't work for me. I don't think I've ever like not felt grounded. You know, my mom makes me feel grounded. My friends make me feel grounded. Honestly, my dog makes me feel so grounded. I got Luna last year. She is my rock. She grounds me, you know, when I have to pick up poop in public, you know, I, I feel really feel like a normal person. But um, she's just like my best friend. She's with me all the time. I'm like a crazy dog lady. People think she suits me, and I think she suits me as well. Like, we are on the same level. I'm growing to like love Norway. Like, I think Norway is really dope. I'm so happy I live here. Moving to Oslo felt like a really big step for me, but now I feel like Oslo is just getting smaller and smaller. So I might have to move out. Might move to like New York or some shit. I don't mind being recognized because that just means that my music, you know, is getting out there and people know who I am. My main goal with music is to be the best musician I can ever be. I want to be a rock star. I want to play Madison Square Garden one day. I want to create the biggest mosh pit in the entire world, and I want to be in the middle. I want to be crushed. I don't really feel like I play any instrument very well. Like, I, I don't even like consider myself a guitarist or like a person who plays piano. Like, I know like one drum beat. I just know a little bit of certain instruments, like enough to like make a whole song. So I feel like what I'm good at is like putting them all together and like making the song. I feel like production is kind of like where 
I get to thrive musically. Dig deep, can't hide from the corners of my mind. I'm terrified of what's inside. I mostly, I just want to make music forever because I love making music and sometimes I'm like, oh no, I don't want to die because when I die, I can't make music. And that really fucking bothers me. I just want to make the most music. That's world domination for me, to be able to make music forever. World domination! Yeah! World domination! I love you, Mom! It feels really good to be in a better headspace. I feel like myself again for the very first time in a very long time. I'm becoming more and more happy, really, with who I am and myself and everything in my life. I don't really feel like I have the whole world watching yet. I mean, I do feel some pressure, like sometimes, you know, it's kind of like scary, but, you know, I definitely want the whole world to watch because I want to be the biggest star in the world. I'm not a gal with small ambitions. Ah!